right, gentlemen, you've been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. I want you to protect yourselves at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back to your corners. Whew. Here we go, boys. The intensity of this rivalry is so palatable and palpable and felt by everybody in this mixed martial arts arena and in the mixed martial arts world. Chapter two slash chapter four begins now. Israel Adesanya is in the blue. Alex Pereira is in the green and gold, or so it appears. We'll call it black and gold. I wonder how fast Adesanya will start. Pajeda right away goes right back to that outside leg kick. Found a lot of success with this early in the last fight. Is he had a real problem with that calf kick? It compromised his leg after the first round. He's got to be very aware of that in this round, particularly since Pajeda opened up with it. Good calf kick low by Adesanya early on. Pereira said he didn't feel much difference in Adesanya from when they were kickboxing. But we have seen a guy that's evolved so much over the course of his mixed martial arts career. And it's crazy to say there are still a lot of unknowns to Pajeda because he's so early in his UFC career. Sure. Another calf kick lands. And these he lands one of his own. Pereira told us he was able to grapple a lot more during this training camp. Bears watching as to how much he might try to use that part of his game. That's one of the things every time I see Alex Pereira, I grab his leg to see if he's been working on the wrestling. Honestly, he feels so strong in that position. He lands another outside kick. Is he circling away from that power left of Pereira? Not to say he doesn't have a brick in that right hand either. Two more hard low kicks landed. Pereira's Pereira. posture, his presence is very intimidating in there. He stands very tall and he's just really big, so he's constantly kind of in your space, never allowing you to feel comfortable. He throws those kicks with no telegraph. And he doesn't even put his full body weight into him. He doesn't turn the hips over. That's one of the reasons why he lands them so well, because you don't see the shift in his shoulders. Mm. One of the things about that right hand that Izzy landed at the end of the first round that hurt Fajeda, he was fainting jabs, throwing him. On that one, he threw it out there and he left it there just like that. And he followed it with the right hand once he had figured Fajeda's range. Pineda to the body, then attacks that lead leg of Adesanya. Izzy faints. Izzy keeps popping those feints at him, trying to get him to stop moving forward. Pineda's trying to get closer now. Good all, body attack. All these strikes, man. Such high-level kickboxing technique. Neither one of them showing each other when the kick or the punch is coming. Another hard low kick. Oh, beautiful body kick lands for Adesanya now. Izzy has an angry look in his face. He does. He's very locked in. And that has sort of mirrored his Another look one. for much of the week. Another calf kick landed. He's already taken too many of those calf kicks. He knew that he had to address that. Last style Benner continues to attack that body of Pereira here. Under a minute to go, round one. And doing it from the southpaw stance. So changing up the way are the stance that he's attacking Pereira in. Good left hand connection by Adesanya, or so it appeared. Pereira seemed to lean out of the way of that one. Izzy caught him on the arms, but just leaning back would not seem to be the best way to avoid the strikes of Israel Asanya. He will make a read 
to try to get to you. But to this point, very competitive round, as we always expect when we see these two. Another hard low kick to that calf. And Izzy, in the orthodox position, has got a, a light front leg to try to check that. But Pajeda is so good at hiding it. Well, Pajeda's done such a good job of beating up that leg already. Israel Asadi just acknowledging his focus and the brevity of those five minutes. And Alex Pereira just brewing with confidence after what he got done over those first 300 seconds. And he was saying he's already gotten to that leg, which was obviously a big part of his strategy because he was so successful with it in the first fight. As he said that five minutes felt fast, Alex Pereira was very vocal in his corner. Telling those guys, I, I'm moving away from the right hand. I'm getting a lot done right now. You're right, John. Just, I mean, so much confidence. And why wouldn't he be? Right. He landed a lot of good shots in that first round. Izzy tries to question mark kick, front kick up the middle. Oh, Ooh. almost got hit with a head kick. This is a scary Pajeda when he closes the distance. Oh, jab to the body and a right hand up top. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Izzy's got to be careful here. Oh, oh Pajeda landed on the left. Beautiful left hook there by Pajeda. Izzy took it well, though. And Asanya needs to control these exchanges. He should not just be throwing with Pajeda. And he's got to stay off the cage. Oh. Nice jab by Adesanya. Izzy's now he looking lands for that right, right hand. And the thing about fight one, Pajeda seemed to fatigue. But we got to remember, that was the first time he went five rounds. Right. And dealt with all of that adversity in round one. Pajeda landing at a 63% clip early, 31% for Izzy. He's attacking that right leg as well, that calf. And you see how defensively sound Pajeda is as well. Very much present through seven minutes. Good left hand for Adesanya, gets through. Nice jab by Pajeda. You see the difference in the power. And the crowd reaction, right? Under three minutes here, round two. Well, everyone's aware of the consequences when this guy lands. Good right hand by Izzy. Is he's much more forward in this fight than he normally is. He recognizes that he can't be going backwards with this guy. He's too good at setting traps. And when he sets his trap, he just lets his hands go. Izzy's taking a lot of calf kicks on that right leg as well now. Good inside low kick. That one was heavy for Adesanya. Ooh, big left hand Whoa. for Adesanya. Adesanya decided there. You could tell he decided to stay in the pocket there for a brief moment. Mm -hmm. Put his guard up high and winged him. He's looking for that right hand that he had success with in the first fight, the end of the first round. Pajeda seems very hip to it right now, though. Oh, nice right, nice right hand to the body. That's good combination. And there's that low kick again. It's so heavy, even though it's coming off the front leg. Oh, there's that right hand, but Pajeda rolled with it. Now Pereira stalking here late in the round. There's that oh, leg kick again. That one hurt him. That one hurt him. He saw him buckle with that low kick. He's going to limit him to southpaw. Oh. Again. Pereira so oh, dangerous. Oh! Counter oh, right from oh. Adesanya. Pereira down and out. Order oh, restored. Adesanya. Adesanya he has finally done it. Oh. He got him back. He is real. Over Alex Pereira, who's out cold.
hold. Wow, he didn't oh just get him. Oh, my goodness. He got him bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Alex Mahana did not respect the power coming back in his way, and he paid for it. Oh, my goodness. It seemed when you got some inside information from the Adesanya folks that they were going to try to turn that aggression around on Pereira. Mission accomplished for the last style bender. That might be one of the greatest KOs I've ever seen in my life. Well, he looked like his leg was hurt. He was fading. Pereira saw it and just started to let everything go, and Izzy put him out. Wow. Woo! What a knockout. What a way to regain your championship and finally break through in a series where you were way behind. Well, he should have won the first kickboxing fight. Yes, the bad second decision. kickboxing fight, he had Pajeda badly hurt. They gave Pajeda a standing eight count and saved him. The third fight, MMA, Pajeda stops him. The fourth fight, Izzy shut the lights out. Let's take a look at it again. He gets hit with that low kick. Covers up, Pajeda's moving in. Boom! Ooh. He catches him, boom, again. Right hand. And then hammer fist, out cold. Wow. Let's look at it again. Pajeda just Pajeda, is going. hands down, yep. just teeing off on him. Bang! Oh. Look at that right hand. Bang, again. Left hook behind it, out cold, hammer fist. And style bender regains the middleweight championship wow. of the world and reestablishes himself as one of the greatest mixed martial arts fighters of all time. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Look at that. And he, he shot him with an arrow. Look oh, at yeah, this. He got him. Look at this. Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.